In this video, we'll talk about clinical usage of cytokine. It's a high yield video for USMLE step one, so stay tuned till the end. What are cytokines? Cytokines are molecules that help immune cells to communicate among themselves, or these are kind of like chemical messengers for many signals. Many immune cells like neutrophil, macrophages, etc. secrete cytokines. And they has wide variety of role in context of immune system. You can click on the video on the I button to know more about cytokines and their types. But right now we are going to focus on how these cytokines can actually be targeted or used in terms of clinical uh, perspective. So cytokine has different families. Among them, the most important families are interleukin family, hematoprotein family, interferon family, tumor necrosis factor family, interleukin 17 family, and the chemokine family. So first we'll talk about erythropoietin, then we'll talk about thrombopoietin, and lastly we'll talk about colony stimulation factor. These three cytokines are very important when it comes to clinical usage. So all of these cytokines are somehow Affect, uh, uh, kind of like affecting the bone marrow. So it's kind of like a bone marrow stimulating factor and that basically triggers several kind of uh, blood related, it, it is used to like treat some blood related issues. So for example, it is used to treat anemia, thrombocytopenia, leukopenia. In a moment it would be detailed and clear to you. So first let's talk about erythropoietin. So basically, erythropoietin is secreted normally by liver or kidney. And this erythropoietin act on the bone marrow stem cells and help in erythropoiesis. Erythropoiesis means the process by which pro-erythroblast gets converted into erythrocyte. So obviously, in this overall process, erythropoietin is a crucial factor. Now, sometimes there is problem in uh, these red blood cell production that lead to anemia and that is why in those treatment erythropoietin or erythropoietin analog can actually be a very useful um, substance it could definitely be useful for treating anemia then there is thrombopoietin thrombopoietin is basically another molecule that help in the process of platelet de development so then you might be wondering how thrombopoietin could be useful in clinical terms Obviously, thrombopoietin could be very useful for autoimmune thrombocytopenia or it's a good uh, stimulator of platelet. In diseases where platelet level would be low, this particular drug could be useful. Now let's take, talk about GCSF and GMCSF. These are granulocyte colony stimulating factor. So there are two particular names which is filgrastim and Sa sargramostin difficult name but anyway these two cytokines belong to hematoprotein uh, family and they help in uh, formation of several cell types so basically from multipotent stem cell there are common myeloid progenitor there are committed precursor cells eventually it give rise to granulocyte precursor so gmcsf help to uh, progress from common myeloid progenitor to committed precursor cells. Also granulocyte uh, progenitors require GCSF for uh, differentiation into different other blood cells like eosinophil, basophil or neutrophil. So obviously MCSF is another molecule which is helpful in monocyte progenitor differentiation. So all these particular molecules are useful in uh, kind of like differentiation of leukocytes. So obviously when there is leukocytopenia, then in that case, or uh, pancytopenia, in that case, these molecules can be used. So anyway, next we'll talk about some interferons. So before that, we'll talk about um, aldescluin, which is basically interleukin-2. So interleukin-2 is used greatly in context of renal cell carcinoma and metastatic melanoma. Several interferons in like interferon alpha is used for uh, basically B cell carcinoma. It has to be remembered it's not to be used in hepatitis C. Interferon beta is used in treatment of multiple sclerosis. Interferon gamma 
which is used in uh, case of basically gra chronic granulomatous disease or CGT. If you want to know about any of these disease, you can get the link in the i button. So I hope this video was quick and informative. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in next video.